number two. So according to history, the deceased was shot at his home. Following this, he was taken to a hospital where he was certified as dead. Are you able to give an indication of giving the clinical picture that you've just outlined, how long the disease would have survived after the infliction of the wound? Well, uh, the heart and the lungs are important organ, organs, and injury, especially this type of injury to those organs, can cause a fatality. Sometimes it's instantaneously. In this case, I do not think so because of the mechanism of death, which I explained as possibly the uh, blood loss. And I think in this case, and he's quite a fit young man, he probably would have survived seconds, minutes, definitely not hours. Uh, and you mentioned during your findings that there was blood loss and the destruction of the heart. Yes. And she loge ugutige, wabu ikazi ge wala segalwa ge ikazi kanye futi ge no 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 kumala kwa kwa inchizi. It was sorry. Can I just recap? I didn't hear quite well. Uh, blood loss, and there was an injury to the heart and the lung. Yes. Ugutige wala segalwa ikazi ge wabu kona ge ugu mala inchizi we nganye na ses punge infut. Now, Doctor, if I can ask you to turn to page. What do you think happened? Pedro. Long Wafian is palm lab. Long Wafian is palm. Wafiat in New Bagusha went to Ulong Wafiat in New Abing in the Langamund and Ganala. Let you know what Suzanne did, I think I'm told. And the day before. Uzanduala <laughs> Sons <laughs> So you are you saying that you don't believe what they are saying in court? Aiko, no le ba shwa aiko. Mina watu fikiri kuli ngachelo. Eni ndota. E abanya baba njaba. Statement some is called. Nguvu kumi de. Statement some is called. Nguvu kwa basa zombies. Omo ni oikulu na ishuto waba. Oba involved ten store fans misogyny and what not done. But la lela lang in chela lende a kunya loyus kunu ting geni kebeng la paik. A ye call on to dotana when zalu meet ya. When zalu meet to sons of betando abanduga cool, when zalu to sindunga su South Africa. Then Zagilenje, U to blege, elamula, zandi ne so la kajwan. Um chelawanje low moon to wa kuluman na la na la baba send in bayaz. Now, 
Your family, though, uh, the mother and your sisters have a different view to this matter. Uh, and of course, we know that there are two uh, dockets in this matter, case 636, uh, which is currently uh, being trialed in court, and case 375, which uh, suggests that those who were inside the house uh, should answer as to what happened in this particular case. Uh, has this divided the family? Uh, no. No, I son is a bit divided. So believe that that could have been planted there? Hello, hello, Mzansi. Welcome back to our channel. The clips you just watched are Senzo Meiwa's brother, Usfiso Meiwa, talking, um, and the video credit goes to ENCA, and talking about his thoughts and beliefs about the case. As you are aware, there's two dockets to the file. The first docket is the one that is being tried right now, where there are the five accused who are the Nkabis. Um, and then the second docket is yet to be tried. I'm not sure if it's going to make it into court. And that is the one where the witnesses, those who were within the house with Senzo Meiwa when he was shot, those are the ones who are the suspects. So there's two dockets being filed. And Senzo's brother believes in the second docket. And now we just heard as well the other clip i just added was the uh, pathologist who did the autopsy autopsy post-mortem report and autopsy report for usenzo meiwa where he speaks about first of all that was just difficult to listen although i'm not a medical expert but just hearing how he died how he died he literally bled to death and the pathologist says there is no way that he could have survived um, for hours after the the, um, the gunshot wound that was inflicted on him because his heart and his lungs were wounded. Therefore, he was bleeding internally. And as you know, the blood need, um, the heart needs blood. However, if the blood is not flowing as it's supposed to and it's filling up within his lungs, therefore, um, the heart needs the blood so that all the organs remain functional. The pathologist describes how some of the organs started to lose color, which is an indication of loss of blood. So Senzo Meiwa died within the Kumalo household, which cannot be argued because this is the pathologist, the pathologist who looked at Senzo Meiwa's body and determined that he died within the Kumalo household. Um, that is just absolutely a tragic. And then the question I have is how come he doesn't detail how much alcohol was in his system as well as Umapiri, who allegedly cleaned the house. What happened to the blood? Why is no one talking about it? It's giving cover up. So that is the summary from yesterday's court um, witness. And today it continues again. But comment down below your thoughts on what you just heard. Was there a cover-up?